Hey, how's it going everybody, and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. And you read the title correctly, what you're looking at right now is Sanctuary. Now it's hard to believe you've seen Sanctuary for so many years and in one particular style, which may not be for everybody, and this mod aims to change that. So today we are looking at the Sanctuary Overhaul by Anomnum. Now we have covered this mod previously in a Fallout 4 Mods Weekly, but it has not gotten its own video yet. And I've been in touch with the mod author, and he has been continuously updating this mod, and now it is in what we could consider to be the full release. So we're going to give it one final walkthrough with all of the new changes and additions, and see how it turned out. So the only way to properly start a walkthrough of Sanctuary is at the front bridge, which as you can see is now a proper bridge. Quite frankly, I don't even see how pre-war that wooden bridge could have supported the weight of a car, and now we have a proper front entrance with a road that connects all the way through as well as some new additional roads which we will get to in a little bit. For starters, the first new building here, as you can see all of the buildings have been replaced with townhouses, but the first one, as you enter on the left, is the new little informational area. The visitor center, that's the word I was looking for. And here you can find a few neat little things for the lore of the city. First of which is the visitor center terminal, which has a handful of logs, including some references that give you information about the town as well as a map, except it is file corrupted, and then the email inbox of whoever was here before. But, but if you would like to read that, you can feel free to download the mod for yourself and head through that. We also have some display cases, for example, the original bridge that was here before it was upgraded to the new concrete one, as well as the entrance sign and statue and there's also a nice little note here, which if we pick the lock, we can now read the deed to Sanctuary Hills, which is a pretty cool little touch. And then of course there is an upstairs to this building and a nice little workspace if you were to build here, you can use this house for, well, whatever you want, along with all of these houses. Now, it's safe to say that you should start a new game for this to work properly. However, it does work with an old save. The only thing that happens if you have it on an existing save is, and we'll get to it right up here, the old house where the workbench would typically be, the workbench will not be there. Instead, it'll be kind of sunken into another house and it'll be inaccessible. So here we are, what it looks like properly with a new save. The workbench is right here along with a few other little workstations, which is a very cool little workshop garage area attached to this house. Every single one of these houses too has a full interior and there are a lot of hidden terminals with different things on them that you can read, which are a blast to go and read through if you want to for yourself. But these houses definitely do need some repairing. So this isn't one of those ultra modern, fully restored sanctuaries. This just changes the style of it to the houses that are all across Fallout 4. So you will still have to repair it yourself, but that's kind of the whole fun of settlement building. There are also a few houses like this one which are boarded up, and what you can do is once you head into the build mode, you can actually scrap or just remove the pieces, and now you can get into a brand new interior, which you can build in yourself, which is a pretty cool little touch. We'll continue our way down. Here is the Soul Survivor's house, which is now a two-story with quite a bit of space. I really like that all of these have proper garages and parking spaces now as well, which is very cool. The roundabout now does not have a dead end, but it continues this way. Some more really cool dilapidated houses. And now there is a road that connects all the way over there. Ignore the floating bushes, that's my end, it is not the mod. Uh, don't worry about those. But if we continue, there is actually, there's actually a little path that heads down this way that connects to a new little dock, which is pretty cool, where you could load up your boat. And there's some loot in here to be had as well, like some stim packs. And then a nice little tugboat, not tugboat, rowboat right here. It's early in the morning, you'll have to excuse me for misspeaking so much during this one. And then if we head back, this road continues back up to the main bridge, which is super cool. Now everything is nice and connected and you have a bunch more building space that is flat and nice to do whatever you want with in your settlement. So yeah guys, this is the new sanctuary. If you want to try this mod out for yourself, it will be linked in the description below. 
And all in all, I think this is a super awesome overhaul of how Sanctuary looks. I see a lot of people trying to make Sanctuary look like this via scrapping mods and using things like Snappy Build Kit to add their own houses, but now you don't even have to do that. You simply download this one and you can customize it to your liking after you load it up in the Settlement Workshop. This is a very, very great mod and it's definitely worth checking out if you like the style of these houses. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like these little mod reviews, drop a like. It helps us get into that algorithm and gets more Fallout 4 mods to the people who want them. And consider subscribing for more future mod reviews and plenty more that are already on the channel. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.